the holy grail of any historic or classic car owner is to have one of those rare barn finds. I mean, after all, there are cars here that are auto exotica, but we've known their lineage. They've been around for a while. But can you just imagine opening a barn door and finding something that didn't look like this just 48 days ago? Sean Coleman here. Welcome to the show. So, Sean, how do you know it was there, firstly, and how did you find it? I found it on eBay, and actually, I wasn't really even looking for a car when I when I did find it. I, I look on eBay every once in a while just to see what race cars are online, and, and I sort of randomly came across this car, and it looked really sad coming out of the barn, uh, and I, you know, figured, hey, this would be an interesting project to take on and try to actually get restored for, uh, for the historics here. We've got some great photographs, which we'll be running through now. This is the original paintwork. Yeah, this is the original color. This is um, Evening Orchid, which was a, a 1965 color. And uh, they purchased this car on the showroom floor. It's the original color that And you got it, had. Uh, the sign writing, you got someone to do that? In yes, uh, actually a, a gentleman who actually painted these cars in the 1960s here on the West Coast actually did the, uh, the sign painting for us. I love that. For me, that's a big part of it. You know, nowadays we're in a rush to turn around graphics and decals in like 20 minutes. These guys have to hand paint it just the same way they did in the original day. Can we look under the hood? And yeah, take absolutely. A look? It's, it's a 1965 Impala SS that actually was a 283 originally when they bought it from the uh, dealership and they uh, put a 427 in it. Uh, and it's a NASCAR spec motor that we had built. It's a 396 60 over, which is exactly how they would have built the motors back in the day. So, what did the engine bay look like when you actually got under here? Very different. It was bird nests and bird nests, wasp nests. We even found a snake actually during the restoration. Animals, vermin, and everything. A uh, wasp's nest. Uh, the thing was filled with uh, rat poop and all kinds of stuff. So fantastic. Uh, w at any point during this, did you feel that it was an impossible task? I mean, you'd set yourself a deadline, and what time did you finish it this week? We finished it Thursday this week at 6 a.m. That's when I finished the signboard and, uh, and a lot of the marketing stuff for the car. Extraordinary. Uh, we corner waited it at 4 a.m with me sleeping in the car. And you're going to be racing against me this afternoon. I will. I hope I can keep up. Well, Sean, congratulations. I think there's going to be a massive increase in hits on eBay this afternoon when they're uh, all trying to find cars like this in the barns. Great luck, good luck. And of course, we're going head to head this afternoon. Sounds good. Thanks. Bye.